Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Michael D. Diego with Industrial Safety Supply Corporation. Uh, today just going to cover the Mini Ray 3000 and uh, how to do a, a full span calibration. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. In just a second here it will uh, be up in real time readings. So you'll notice that the correction factor uh, equals one isobutylene. Uh, we're going to go ahead and calibrate to isobutylene. In our next video, we're actually going to uh, apply a correction factor to show you how to do that as well. Uh, so to get into the menu, we're just going to hit the N and mode keys. It's going to prompt us to enter a password, and the password for Ray Systems Instruments is 0000. By utilizing the soft keys that you see here, we're moving the arrow over, giving it a zero, over, zero, and now we're going to enter. First thing that pops up is calibration. We're going to go ahead and hit the soft arrow select key. And if it wants to do a zero calibration, we would do that here. Today we're just going to perform a span calibration. We're going to hit the select button, and it asks us if we're going to be utilizing uh, isobutylene 100 ppm. Uh, we are. I'll show you really quick here. Isobutylene, 100 ppm. Let's lay this down here, and I'm going to hit no because we do not want to change it. And then it's going to ask us to apply this gas. So I'm going to go ahead and put the spin gas on. And it's recognizing it and running through a quick 30-second uh, uh, countdown for the calibration. All right, and after the span calibration is done, you can see that it goes into uh, its regular mode. I'm going to go ahead and pull the gas off. And uh, we'll go ahead and go back and back again. And uh, as soon as that runs down, you'll now have a freshly calibrated uh, piece of equipment. Thank you for coming, and uh, have a great day.